Okay, let's try this one. Murky Depths. the closest so let's travel here let's see how close we can get to it how nice to see you my young friend nice to see you too okay let's go this way Revelio. Stuck there. Getting there. like a stone. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a liaison to the mer people? Well, not technically, no. At least not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we dueled in the Crossed Ones Club. Oh, okay. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the Ministry, then the Mer people should have one too. Sounds good to me. I'm impressed. I think reaching out to the Mer people is a grand idea. You do? Oh, thank you. Of course I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Okay, so am I gonna swim then? Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the last thing I want is for them to think I would shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. Okay, let's do it. I can't wait to hear about what you find. One day soon, I'll see for myself. I just know it. Swim over there and then we'll dive once we get to that spot. I really should look into gillyweed, although I still need to swim. This is gonna be fun. Let's dive. 
Look at this place. Did the Mer people really leave Narada an artifact? Right there. Lumos. Luke, now then, I'll need you to come with me. Alright. Now for the rest of you. Okay, one down, two to go. Confringo! Lumos. Hey, one more. Nope, nope, nope. What are you doing? Oh. Lumos. Nice job. What do we have in here then? Narada will be happy about this. Cool. Let's go back and visit her. Wrong button. Go. Your gift from the Mer people was exactly where they said it would be. Oh, that's wonderful news! I was so worried I'd left it too long and they'd seen it as a slight. Our relationship with them is already so tenuous. No, don't keep the gift. Let's give it to her. Then I'm glad we helped to foster some healthy diplomatic relations. Merlin's beard! It's marvelous. I'm going to show it to everyone, including the ministry. Should I hand deliver it or send by owl? Hand Thank deliver. you again so much. You may have just helped improve relations between wizard kind and mer people for decades to come. I can't wait to study this. You've done a good deed, sir. Let's go to Beast Class. Track. Locate on map. And let's go here. That's good in one of my favorite classes. Hello, little one. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. <sighs> Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Yes, ma'am. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. 
The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Oh, this one's gonna be cool. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Okay. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. All right. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Yes. Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Okay, let's go with it first. Let's do it on X. Test it out on these pumpkins. Bombada. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. All right. What's what's up next for our quest? Okay. Let's go see Professor Weasley. Over here. Oh, give us the closest. Okay, let's just go there. See how close we can get. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Okay, let's go find that book that she needs. Revelio. Let's go to the side. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Okay. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ugh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Quiz time, let's do it. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? 
Uh, let's do this one. The Golden Snidget. Correct. <laughs> the Snidget was first introduced right. to Quidditch <laughs> in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which right. potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Oh, no. Mm. I'm going to do this one because I like this answer. The pepper up potion. Yeah, I think it's the I'm afraid one. the answer was Felix Felicis. It was, right. Since it makes ah. the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Let's see, the tale of three brothers involves. Oh, man. I think it's either this one or the last one. Oh, which one? Horcruxes. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. Dang it, I had According to right. Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Snitch? The Snitch. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. Oh when goodness, a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows a drinker to change species. False. False. Correct. While Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. No, I'm good. I don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That's fine. Come and find me if you'd like to try later. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Reveille! Reveille ought to make quick work of this. That's the Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. All right. Okay. Next quest. Let's locate on that. And let's do travel. Did I tell you I've been in touch with the Ministry about the artifact? I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. That was cool. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration. As you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now. You all know what to do. Okay. Beautifully done. New spell unlocked. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. 
Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Yep. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Um, no. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Nope. Not at all. I, um, I enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by a wand law, and I'd never visited the owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Thank you. Quest complete, Professor Weasley's assignment. Yeah. Since our visit to Feldcorn, Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Okay. My Sebastian. plan with the helmet failed, but I have another yeah. idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. Okay, that'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a smashing day.